uh, a biography of Al Hafid ibn Hajar. Who is he? His name is Ali ibn Ahmad ibn or Ahmad bin Ali rather ibn Muhammad ibn Muhammad al Asqalani. And this Asqalani refers to his great uh, grandparents who lived in Asqalan. And uh, Asqalan is in Palestine where they entered this Asqalan in the year 583 of Hijra or after Hijra. So it is, this is a place in Palestine around, uh, uh, around Gaza. Ibn Hajar was born on the 10th or the 12th of Sha'ban, the year 773 or after Hijra. And he was an orphan. Because his father himself, his father was a scholar, as well as a merchant, died in the year 777 after Hijra. So when he was about four years old. And his mother passed away even before that. And Ibn Hajar had an older brother. And his older brother also was a learned, a learned man. But this brother died before Ibn Hajar. In fact, in his times there was no, really no one the same as him in regards to what he memorized and to the precision, precision of, his, of his mastery of hadith. He went to school at five years old to memorize the Qur'an. And he completed the memorization such that when he was nine years old, he would lead the people in Taraweeh and where he memorized a number of small summarized books like Al-Umda fi Al-Hadith and also the book of Al-Hawi which is a book in the Shafi'i Fiqh and also Mukhtasar Al-Hajib which is a book on the fundamentals of fiqh and other books also like in grammar he took knowledge from a great number of scholars in hadith in fiqh, in fundamentals of fiqh, in grammar. And during a visit to Yemen, he said that he met some of the scholars there, such as Fayruz al-Din al-Abadi, you know, the great grammarian and scholar, who wrote one of the dictionaries of the Arabic language, a famous dictionary. Ibn Hajar took a number of posts and different positions in his life. On such position, he was teaching different Islamic sciences such as tafsir and recitations, qiraat. And he was also a mufti. So he could give, he would give fatwa, legal rulings. And he was also a judge on all Egypt. And also he took the position of giving the Friday sermons. Those positions, or these positions in, in, in those times, were only given to the scholars. As for the teachers of Ibn Hajar, he has more than 800 teachers. In fact, he wrote a book talking about his various different teachers who learned from. In fact, as to his students, 
they were abundant a student would come and learn and then the son of the student will come and learn from him and so forth so father and son would take the pride in having learned from Ibn Hajar owing to the rank that Ibn Hajar held in his lifetime rahimahullah. in fact the muftis in the land were the students of Ibn Hajar himself He was well known for his piety, from detachment, from those unbeneficial things of this life, which means zuhd. Al-Buqai, rahimahullah, mentions that Ibn Hajar would fast continuously and eat very little. He started the explanation of Sahih al-Bukhari which is called Fath al-Bari. He started it in the beginning of the year 817 and concluded it in the year 842 after Hijrah. And he said about it himself, it is like a dictionary of the Sunnah and it is the case. And it is the case. Alaykum in fact, it's a dictionary for all Islamic sciences. Kings and princes were known in his time to exchange gifts consisting of his works. He was a prominent judge in Egypt, as well as in the greater Sham area in greater Syria for 21 years. He was a humble, humble patient and tolerant he was a steadfast prudent generous charitable and he spent much time in voluntary prayer and fasting and those who came to know of him praised his high standard of good manners in dealing with rulers with imams as well as those who sat with him young or old This is some information concerning the author, rahimahullah. And in fact, the status of al Hafiz bin Hajar does not need any commendation because he is known. And he had many also books about the status of men, narrators. and covering various Islamic sciences also in Hadith, Tafsir, Ulum al-Quran on Tuesday the 14th of the Hijjah the year 852 he became ill such that Saturday the 18th of the same month he passed away in Cairo Rahimahullah Ta'ala This is a brief biography on for Al Hafiz Ibn Hajar, Rahimahullah Taala, and may Allah's mercy be upon him and upon all the scholars of Islam.